The Agreement on Trade-Related Aspects of Intellectual Property Rights TRIPS, is an international legal agreement between all the member nations of the World Trade Organization WTO. It sets down minimum standards for the regulation by national governments of many forms of intellectual property IP, as applied to nationals of other WTO member nations. TRIPS was negotiated at the end of the Uruguay Round of the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade in 1994 and is administered by the WTO. The TRIPS Agreement introduced intellectual property law into the international trading system for the first time and remains the most comprehensive international agreement on intellectual property to date. In 2001, developing countries, concerned that developed countries were insisting on an overly narrow reading of TRIPS, initiated a round of talks that resulted in the Doha Declaration. The Doha Declaration is a WTO statement that clarifies the scope of TRIPS, stating for example that TRIPS can and should be interpreted in light of the goal, "...to promote access to medicines for all." Specifically, TRIPS requires WTO members to provide copyright rights, covering content producers including performers, producers of sound recordings and broadcasting organizations, geographical indications, including appellations of origin, industrial designs, integrated circuit layout designs, patents, new plant varieties, trademarks, trade dress, and undisclosed or confidential information. TRIPS also specifies enforcement procedures, remedies, and dispute resolution procedures. Protection and enforcement of all intellectual property rights shall meet the objectives to contribute to the promotion of technological innovation and to the transfer and dissemination of technology, to the mutual advantage of producers and users of technological knowledge and in a manner conducive to social and economic welfare, and to a balance of rights and obligations. Topic. Background and history TRIPS was negotiated at the end of the Uruguay Round of the General Agreement on Tariffs and Trade in 1994. Its inclusion was the culmination of a program of intense lobbying by the United States, supported by the European Union, Japan and other developed nations. Campaigns of unilateral economic encouragement under the generalized system of preferences and coercion under Section 301 of the Trade Act played an important role in defeating competing policy positions that were favored by developing countries like Brazil, but also including Thailand, India and Caribbean Basin states. In turn, the United States strategy of linking trade policy to intellectual property standards can be traced back to the entrepreneurship of senior management at Pfizer in the early 1980s, who mobilized corporations in the United States and made maximizing intellectual property privileges the number one priority of trade policy in the United States Braithwaite and Drahoz, 2000, Chapter 7. After the Uruguay Round, the GATT became the basis for the establishment of the World Trade Organization, because ratification of TRIPS is a compulsory requirement of World Trade Organization membership. Any country seeking to obtain hard access to the numerous international markets opened by the World Trade Organization must enact the strict intellectual property laws mandated by TRIPS. For this reason, TRIPS is the most important multilateral instrument for the globalization of intellectual property laws. States like Russia and China that were very unlikely to join the Berne Convention have found the prospect of WTO membership a powerful enticement. Furthermore, unlike other agreements on intellectual property, TRIPS has a powerful enforcement mechanism. States can be disciplined through the WTO's dispute settlement mechanism. Topic: The requirements of TRIPS. TRIPS requires member states to provide strong protection for intellectual property rights. For example, under TRIPS, Copyright terms must extend at least 50 years, unless based on the life of the author, Art. 12 and 14. Copyright must be granted automatically, and not based upon any formality, such as registrations, as specified in the Berne Convention, Art. 9. Computer programs must be regarded as literary works 
under copyright law and receive the same terms of protection. National exceptions to copyright such as fair use in the United States are constrained by the Byrne three-step test. Patents must be granted for inventions in all fields of technology provided they meet all other patentability requirements although exceptions for certain public interests are allowed are 27.2 and 27.3 and must be enforceable for at least 20 years are 33 exceptions to exclusive rights must be limited provided that a normal exploitation of the work are 13 and normal exploitation of the patent are 30 is not in conflict no unreasonable prejudice to the legitimate interests of the right holders of computer programs and patents is allowed. Legitimate interests of third parties have to be taken into account by patent rights Art 30. In each state, intellectual property laws may not offer any benefits to local citizens which are not available to citizens of other TRIPS signatories under the principle of national treatment with certain limited exceptions, Art. 3 and 5. TRIPS also has a most favored nation clause. Many of the TRIPS provisions on copyright were copied from the Berne Convention for the Protection of Literary and Artistic Works, and many of its trademark and patent provisions were modeled on the Paris Convention for the Protection of Industrial Property. It is the case of the protection of software and database. Article 10 of the treaty stipulates 1. Computer programs, whether in source or object code, shall be protected as literary works under the Berne Convention 1971. 2. Compilations of data or other material, whether in machine-readable or other form, which by reason of the selection or arrangement of their contents constitute intellectual creations shall be protected as such. Such protection, which shall not extend to the data or material itself, shall be without prejudice to any copyright subsisting in the data or material itself. <laughs> <laughs> Access to essential medicines The most visible conflict has been over AIDS drugs in Africa. Despite the role that patents have played in maintaining higher drug costs for public health programs across Africa, this controversy has not led to a revision of TRIPS. Instead, an interpretive statement, the Doha Declaration, was issued in November 2001, which indicated that TRIPS should not prevent states from dealing with public health crises. After Doha, PHRMA, the United States and to a lesser extent other developed nations began working to minimize the effect of the declaration. A 2003 agreement loosened the domestic market requirement, and allows developing countries to export to other countries where there is a national health problem as long as drugs exported are not part of a commercial or industrial policy. Drugs exported under such a regime may be packaged or colored differently in order to prevent them from prejudicing markets in the developed world. In 2003, the Bush administration also changed its position, concluding that generic treatments might in fact be a component of an effective strategy to combat HIV. Bush created the PEPFAR program, which received $15 billion from 2003 to 2007, and was reauthorized in 2008 for $48 billion over the next five years. Despite wavering on the issue of compulsory licensing, PEPFAR began to distribute generic drugs in 2004-5. Software and business method patents Another controversy has been over the TRIPS Article 27 requirements for patentability, in all fields of technology, and whether or not this necessitates the granting of software and business method patents. According to Article 10 of the TRIPS Agreement the appropriate instrument to protect software protection is author right. The importance of this instrument has recently been confirmed by the U.S. Supreme Court Oracle America, Inc. v. Google, Inc. 
Topic implementation In developing countries the obligations under TRIPS apply equally to all member states, however developing countries were allowed extra time to implement the applicable changes to their national laws, in two tiers of transition according to their level of development. The transition period for developing countries expired in 2005. The transition period for least developed countries to implement TRIPS was extended to 2013, and until 1 January 2016 for pharmaceutical patents, with the possibility of further extension. It has therefore been argued that the TRIPS standard of requiring all countries to create strict intellectual property systems will be detrimental to poorer countries' development. It has been argued that it is, prima facie, in the strategic interest of most if not all underdeveloped nations to use the flexibility available in TRIPS to legislate the weakest IP laws possible, this has not happened in most cases. A 2005 report by the WHO found that many developing countries have not incorporated TRIPS flexibilities compulsory licensing, parallel importation, limits on data protection, use of broad research and other exceptions to patentability, etc. into their legislation to the extent authorized under Doha. This is likely caused by the lack of legal and technical expertise needed to draft legislation that implements flexibilities, which has often led to developing countries directly copying developed country IP legislation, or relying on technical assistance from the World Intellectual Property Organization which, according to critics such as Cory Doctorow, encourages them to implement stronger intellectual property monopolies. Banerjee and Nayak shows that TRIPS has a positive effect on R&D expenditure of Indian pharmaceutical firms. Post-TRIPS expansion In addition to the baseline intellectual property standards created by the TRIPS agreement, many nations have engaged in bilateral agreements to adopt a higher standard of protection. These collection of standards, known as TRIPS Plus or TRIPS Plus, can take many forms. General objectives of these agreements include the creation of anti-circumvention laws to protect digital rights management systems. This was achieved through the 1996 World Intellectual Property Organization Copyright Treaty and the WIPO Performances and Phonograms Treaty. More stringent restrictions on compulsory licenses for patents. More aggressive patent enforcement. This effort has been observed more broadly in proposals for WIPO and European Union rules on intellectual property enforcement. The 2001 EU Copyright Directive was to implement the 1996 WIPO Copyright Treaty. The campaign for the creation of a WIPO broadcasting treaty that would give broadcasters and possibly webcasters exclusive rights over the copies of works they have distributed. Topic. Panel reports According to WTO 10th Anniversary, Highlights of the First Decade, Annual Report 2005 page 142, in the first 10 years, 25 complaints have been lodged leading to the panel reports and appellate body reports on trips listed below. The WTO website has a gateway to all TRIPS disputes including those that did not lead to panel reports here 1. 2005 Panel Report, European Communities, Protection of Trademarks and Geographical Indications for Agricultural Products and Foodstuffs. 2000 Panel Report, Part 2 and 2000 Appellate Body Report Canada, Term of Patent Protection. 2000 Panel Report, Part 1, and Part 2 United States, Section 110 5 of the U.S. Copyright Act. 2000 Panel Report, Canada, Patent Protection of Pharmaceutical Products. 2001 Panel Report, and 2002 Appellate Body Report United States, Section 211 Omnibus Appropriations Act of 1998. 1998 Panel Report, India, Patent Protection for Pharmaceutical and Agricultural Chemical Products. 1998 Panel Report, Indonesia, Certain Measures Affecting the Automobile Industry. 
Topic criticism Since TRIPS came into force, it has been subject to criticism from developing countries, academics, and non-governmental organizations. Though some of this criticism is against the WTO generally, many advocates of trade liberalization also regard TRIPS as poor policy. TRIPS's wealth concentration effects moving money from people in developing countries to copyright and patent owners in developed countries and its imposition of artificial scarcity on the citizens of countries that would otherwise have had weaker intellectual property laws, a common basis for such criticisms. Other criticism has focused on the failure of TRIPS to accelerate investment and technology flows to low-income countries, a benefit advanced by WTO members in the lead-up to the agreement's formation. Statements by the World Bank indicate that TRIPS has not led to a demonstrable acceleration of investment to low-income countries, though it may have done so for middle-income countries. Lengthy patent periods under TRIPS have been scrutinized for unduly slowing the entry of generic substitutes and competition to the market. In particular, the illegality of pre-clinical trials or submission of samples for approval until a patent expires have been blamed for driving the growth of a few multinationals, rather than developing country producers. Daniele Archibugi and Andrea Filippetti argue that the importance of TRIPS in the process of generation and diffusion of knowledge and innovation has been overestimated by its supporters. This point has been supported by United Nations findings indicating many countries with weak protection routinely benefit from strong levels of foreign direct investment FDI. Analysis of OECD countries in the 1980s and 1990s during which the patent life of drugs was extended by six years showed that while total number of products registered increased slightly, the mean innovation index remained unchanged. In contrast to that, Jörg Barton, Nicola Bianchi and Petra Moser 2017 find historical evidence that under certain circumstances compulsory licensing, a key mechanism to weaken intellectual property rights that is covered by Article 31 of the TRIPS, may indeed be effective in promoting invention by increasing the threat of competition in fields with low pre-existing levels of competition. They argue, however, that the benefits from weakening intellectual property rights strongly depend on whether the governments can credibly commit to using it only in exceptional cases of emergencies since firms may invest less in R&D if they expect repeated episodes of compulsory licensing. The 2002 Doha Declaration affirmed that the TRIPS agreement should not prevent members from taking measures necessary to protect public health. Despite this recognition, less developed countries have argued that TRIPS's flexible provisions, such as compulsory licensing, are near on impossible to exercise. In particular, less developed countries have cited their infant domestic manufacturing and technology industries as evidence of the policy's bluntness. TRIPS plus conditions mandating standards beyond TRIPS have also been the subject of scrutiny. These FTA agreements contain conditions that limit the ability of governments to introduce competition for generic producers. In particular, the United States has been criticized for advancing protection well beyond the standards mandated by TRIPS. The United States free trade agreements with Australia, Morocco and Bahrain have extended patentability by requiring patents be available for new uses of known products. The TRIPS agreement allows the grant of compulsory licenses at a nation's discretion. TRIPS plus conditions in the United States FTAs with Australia, Jordan, Singapore and Vietnam have restricted the application of compulsory licenses to emergency situations, antitrust remedies, and cases of public non-commercial use. See also List of parties to the TRIPS Agreement Topic. Related treaties and laws Anti-Counterfeiting Trade Agreement ACTA. EU Directive on the Enforcement of Intellectual Property Rights IPRED. Patent Law Treaty PLT. Substantive Patent Law Treaty SPLT. Uruguay Round Agreement Act of the United States URAA. 
Topic: <laughs> Related organizations. Intellectual Property Committee World Trade Organization Other Confusing similarity Geographical indication Intellectual property in the People's Republic of China List of international trade topics List of parties to international copyright agreements World Trade Organization Dispute 160 Japanese Sound Recording Trade Disputes <laughs>